All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and in today's video, obviously, again, something a little bit different because I am on camera, which I'm not normally, but I had something really, really cool sent to me by a subscriber, Peter Potato. Thank you so much, man, for the gift package straight from Star Wars Celebration. You guys know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go this year, but he grabbed some stuff from the event and actually sent it out to me in Australia, which was really cool of him. So I figured I'd make a video unboxing it showing you guys what he sent me, and then also just showing off a couple of the things that I've bought in recent times, just as like a collection update. You guys know I collect a lot of pops and Black Series figures and stuff like that. So I figured I'd show you what I've gotten and kind of picked up in the last month or two, because you guys like seeing the collection stuff. But we're gonna start with the unboxing. So I've got this uh, package from Peter. Obviously, I've already opened it just to kind of see what was in it, because I was super excited. I knew one thing that I asked him to grab for me was in here. Um, but I didn't know about the rest of the stuff that he kind of sent. So really nice guy, really awesome dude. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it so much. Um, but let's get started with opening it up and getting what's inside. So the first thing, I'm going to start small. Uh, we've got some little character cards. Apologies that the lighting is bad. I'm kind of behind the light or the light's behind me at the moment. But we've got some character cards. So, of course, Darth Maul, very cool, very cool. Uh, we got <laughs> your boy, Darth Jar Jar. We've got Padme as Queen Amidala. Fingers crossed she comes to Battlefront 2 at some point. Another one I'd like to see in Battlefront 2, my man Qui-Gon Jinn. Liam Neeson would be awesome uh, to voice him if they could manage to pull that off, obviously. Bit of money involved there, though. Not sure if we'll get that, but still it would be cool to see Qui-Gon as a playable hero in Battlefront 2 at some point. Uh, the next thing is I got like a cool, real cool like Star Wars celebration, just like a little carry bag. You know, you can go do some shopping in it. Obviously, we now charge for bags, plastic bags in Australia. So it's cool to have this as like a reusable Star Wars bag. So it says Star Wars Celebration Chicago 2019. And then it's got Shop the Galaxy on the other side. Obviously, an Amazon promotion that they had. So that's really cool as well. Um, we have right here the Darth Maul little mini fig. Um, so these mystery minis are kind of cool. I actually have a couple of them up here. Like I'll just grab one. I grabbed the IG-88 one, which is a limited edition one that you can only find. One in 72 boxes opened, you get IG-88. Um, and there's a couple more up there, like some more common ones and things as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up because... I know the Darth Maul one looks really cool. I've actually wanted this for ages and I never sort of pulled the trigger on buying it. So it's really awesome that uh, Peter was nice enough to send one of these out for me. Uh, they come in these like black plastic once you get them out of the box. So just going to rip this open and check them out. All right. So yeah, he looks wicked. So I don't know how well the camera's going to focus on that, but he looks really cool. Obviously... The double-ended lightsaber. And the paintwork's actually pretty nice as well. It's kind of looking off to the side. But yeah, real cool little fig. He's going to go up on my TV over here in a minute. So there's that. That's a little mystery mini of Darth Maul. The next thing was this, which is wicked. So this is like a, you know, like a beach bag or like a rucksack type of thing. Maul, Twin Suns, Summer 2020. So this, if you guys didn't know, Twin Suns was one of the episodes of Star Wars Rebels. I think it was in Season 3. Um, but yeah, still a really dope like little bag. You can just use it for gym, which is probably what I'm going to use it for, just to chuck a towel in there. Um, but yeah, Twin Suns, Summer 2020, and a cool image of Darth Maul's head on it. Um, I didn't think anything was inside it, but actually picking it up now, there's a, a handful of lanyards here from Star Wars Celebration, which is really cool. Um, so I think this is just an extra one. Yeah, this is so AT&T Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. So obviously this is a sports one. Uh, it's a baseball one, which is pretty cool. And then we've got like all these little Star Wars ones. So these have like some Lego characters on them, which is really cool. I think it's all the same lanyard, but still you can never have enough of these to whack your keys on. They're really cool. Uh, again, shop the galaxy on there. Stormtroopers, Luke, um, I see Vader on there, some Imperial Guards, Yoda, uh, some Rebels, some X-Wing pilots, Luke is an X-Wing pilot, uh, 3PO's on there, and a couple of other characters, like you got some 
I don't know if you guys can see that. We've got the clone troopers there, which is really cool as well. So some really sweet lanyards to go along inside that little bag, which should be good. I'll definitely get use out of those because the lanyard on my keys now has had it. And then finally, this was the one thing that I actually knew Peter was getting me and you probably just saw it on the camera right here because I did see it. Um, a Sokotano pop vinyl signed by Ashley Eckstein. Now I know there's going to be a few of you guys that are like super jealous of this, like Darth Maul 516. I know you're a massive, um, Ashley Eckstein fan and a couple of other of the guys in the discord as well. So this is really an awesome item. I'm trying to get the lighting just right for this, but you can see she's actually signed it in orange pen as well, which is dope. It goes perfectly. I already have this pop vinyl, but now that I have one, uh, with Ashley Eckstein's signature on it, I'm going to whack it into a protector, like a hard cover and just really keep it like stored. And it's such an awesome thing. I can't stress enough, Peter. Thank you so much um, for this item. It's something that I've always wanted. And if I was to go to celebration, I was definitely going to get one signed by her, but you've just made it all that much easier for me and done it for me and sent it out here, um, which is extremely cool. So thank you so much for that, Peter. That wraps up like the unboxing session of this video. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Peter Potato. If you guys see him around on the channel in the comments or in the live streams or even in Discord or anything like that, just make sure you tell him what a champion he is. Um, he's been a supporter for a long time since I was like really a brand new channel, like when I was very low in subs. So he's been a massive support and just to get a cool gift like that from him is awesome as well. Um, so getting into kind of what I've picked up more recently, the first one is, you would have seen this on Twitter, the Inferno Squad Black Series figure. Now this is a GameStop exclusive, but obviously we got them in Australia. We don't have GameStop, so they kind of just go to generic toy stores. The Inferno Squad figure, which is kind of, you can put it down to like it's Iden, I guess. You don't really have a head on it, but you've got the armor and what you kind of want. All the details look really good. I know my camera's kind of shit, so you probably can't see all the details that you want to see, but it's, uh, and the light's kind of messing with it as well. I'm trying to get it in a good spot here. But yeah, you can kind of get a rough idea of, you know, the quality on these. Comes with the E11. And then the box, I guess, is kind of just your generic Black Series box. So there's that. We then have, this is really cool. So Black Series started doing the archive line. Um, so we've got IG-88 from the archive series, which is extremely cool. You can probably see him again there with a close-up. I'll try and get the light out of it, but... Um, very cool looking figure comes with a couple of weapons as well um, really I like the black boxes on these they kind of go back to that retro toy style um, and then you've got a little bit of a bio on IG-88 on the back there as well so another really cool pickup was that one there and then we've got another pop vinyl so this I actually picked up today it's the red chrome Darth Vader which was I believe a Target exclusive possibly in the US uh, so we got these at uh, my local Zing store where I actually used to work and no longer work, but very cool pop. Um, it's just got the standard box on the back, but yeah, he's obviously the red chrome version, which is cool as well. And then finally, one of the coolest Black Series figures I think they've ever done um, and happens to be a character from Battlefront 2, one of the most awesome characters that they could have done a figure out of. And I actually want to get a proper like Hot Toys figure of this character, but General Grievous as a Black Series figure. And the detail on this is incredible. Like obviously it comes with four lightsabers. We knew that was going to be a thing. Comes with the blaster that actually kills him as well, which is hilarious. But the detail, the cape, just everything, the forearms, the damage on his face. Like I don't know if the camera's picking that up very well, but you can see like there's like damage and like markings and burn marks on his face, which is really incredible. Another extremely cool figure. And they don't really normally come this big, but I guess Grievous with the four lightsabers being a bigger character, he uh, he's kind of a bit bigger than, you know, the standard Black Series figure box. He's got to be wider because he's a big boy. You guys know the thick fam, he's the big boy. Um, but yeah, so another really cool pickup, awesome figure. Um, and other than that, that is the majority of what I have picked up more recently. If I do grab anything else, I will update you guys in a future video. I'm just looking around trying to see if I actually missed anything here. But 
I don't think that's it. I think that's most of the stuff I got. So huge shout out to Peter Potato again, man. You're a legend. Thank you so much for the gift box. Um, for those of you guys that want to send, you know, letters and things like that, I've heard a few of you ask that I open up a PO box. So I'm going to look into doing that if there's something that you want to send me or, you know, even just like a letter or you want to request something through mail or anything like that, you know, that would be really cool. I love seeing stuff from you guys like this with what Peter's done. I don't expect it at all, but it's a really nice surprise. So thank you again, Peter, and thank you guys for tuning in and the constant support. Next video will probably be Battlefront related for you guys that are like, oh, where's the Battlefront stuff? Oh, yeah, I'll get someone for you. So appreciate all you guys tuning in. I will see you in the next one, and may the Force be with you always. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.